it's, it's clockwork. It's every year right after the game, people mock the game, and I don't watch it. I don't watch the Pro Bowl because it's not a game. It's a two-hand touch glorified scrimmage where if, if you're there and you're, you've got the kids and you want to go watch your favorite players, it, that's fine. I'm not begrudging the fact that it can be entertaining for your family to go check it out or watch it. But I, I also see the ratings, and the league sees that too. And when they're pulling the numbers that they're pulling just by putting on a glorified flag football game, I don't blame them for continuing to run this back, no matter if – I mean, it's not like – um, the, the top, the, the very top stars, some of them did play. I, I was surprised Mahomes did. And, you know, I, I think props to him and, you know, others, Kelsey, for doing it. But you guys get my point. I mean, yeah. Mac, Mac Jones is one of the quarterbacks in this game, not Tom Brady. You know, so. Yeah, somebody's got a counter program to it, or the NFL's got a counter program to itself. And the ratings are good enough that they're not compelled. But they to had, do you so. know, Vrabel put uh, Diggs, Stephon Diggs, back at quarterback, and they, you know, they ran this play where he's going to be sacked, and they just run right by him on purpose, and then he completes a pass to a tight end, and as the tight end makes the catch, the whistles blow, and the play's dead. That was the game yesterday, and I saw that on a highlight on on Twitter that the NFL tweeted out. Some people are into that. Kids are into it. I, that's fine, but the, you know, I, I'm not sitting here mocking it. I'm saying I'm just not watching it, and millions are. Well, they should declare it like a no-tackle game, like to tag just out. Just declare it a no game. Yeah, and I, I'm do, for and do that. A, do a skills competition. Do something other than that. And I'm not going to be a hypocrite when it comes to this. I haven't seen a single highlight. I haven't glanced at a television that had it on at any point. I have not right. seen a thing. And if people are going to continue to complain about this game, don't watch. The skills competition Because could you're be right, so the ratings are there. Better. People complain, and they – they're still posting about the game they're watching. If you hate it so much, just do what I did and don't even glance at it. I didn't even read. If there was well, we something about the Pro Bowl on a tweet, I wouldn't even read yeah. it. My kid enjoys the skills competition. He's 12 now. I taped it. We watched it for the fourth or fifth year in a row. There are some interesting things there that they could do a lot better, and it could be a lot better. It ends with a dodgeball game. Now, how's this sound for an NFL production? The dodgeball game was shown from here. This one static camera angle behind one of the end zones of the dodgeball game, virtually the entire dodgeball game was shown from here. Then after it was over, they showed a couple, like, isolation shots of a great throw or a great great catch or a great dodge, like it was produced after the fact. This is not live. This is all pre-taped. But for NFL to put out an hour-long skills, uh, skills competition program and to have the dodgeball competition, which is sold as like the three-point thing at the end that clinches, and it's somewhat compelling. Hey, here are some of the best athletes in the NFL playing dodgeball out of their element but showing off their athletic skills, and we're going to show it to you from one camera angle? That's very un-NFL-like. It's a well-produced product, generally. This is the worst produced element of the NFL product I could ever think of. Yeah, that is Why? odd that they would only have the one camera angle um, unless they're just putting everything towards Super Bowl coverage. Also with <laughs> all kinds of weird lines. it's already out in, ahead of them. Lines, I have no right? idea. So they play inside the yellow lines, and then later it goes inside the, the red line. But there are also all other kind of lines on the field. Like, why wouldn't you have a clear space to do well, that? Well, here's what we're doing now. We're talking about dodgeball. <laughs> this is what the NFL does to you. I mean, the fact that, you know, that, that's, that's what we're talking but about. I, if this yeah, is everything the alternative they do to the that Pro they touch, Bowl, it's, 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 it works for whatever reason. If this is the reason. alternative to the Pro Bowl, they could do it well, but, but, but the they're pro, declining to do it well. But my point there is it doesn't need to be an alternative to the Pro Bowl. They're going to do both because they're doing enough on the dodgeball to make it work. I'm not interested in it, but, I'm not again, I'm not begrudging people who are because clearly there's monetary gain in some way there. Also, they, they want this weekend of coverage, much like they want their games on five days a week, uh, you know, from Thursday to Saturday, Sunday, Monday night football. Um, they're doing the same thing with the, the Pro Bowl weekend to dominate yet another weekend. And then, you know, they get five to seven million, or whatever the number is, watching that, you know, that crap. It's very unlike them, though. They're, they're concerned with the quality of TV and production and all of that. And then this game, they're just like, well, we get ratings, so we'll keep doing it even though it's crap. 